So you're trying to get rid of one of the input methods or keyboards from your Windows 10 or Windows 7 PC but you're unable to do so because when you restart Windows keeps it heading back or it's not showing altogether but it's still behaving differently than what you want it. So before we go into the solution part if you just after the solution you can skip ahead using the chapters down here we'll just do a quick background on what is happening on windows so there are two things there is the hardware keyboard layout is the physical keys present on the keyboard and then there is a software layout how windows interprets it so you could have an american keyboard but you could definitely type another language with it uh, if you configure Windows to do so. so for whatever reason if your Windows keyboard is not behaving as it should first thing to try is to go to your settings and language and then click on the language uh, there and click on options see if there are any extra keyboards in that list and get rid of them if that doesn't fix it keep watching second method is a bit technical but is most likely to actually solve the issue that you're having also to check if you have American or non-American keyboards is to look at your right alt if it has alt GR most likely it's a non-American keyboard so English UK or English India etc etc if you don't know what alt GR does I'll leave a link down below to check it out uh, in my case I don't need the right alt to do anything more than the alt function because I play games and I need my right alt as a full screen toggler so first things first you need to do is open settings then language settings administrative language settings and go to welcome screen and then new user accounts and click on copy settings and check if the languages that you want are there if there are any unwanted languages keep following the guide the problem could be if you have multiple language packs installed on your pc so to uninstall one of them you need to go to run by pressing windows r type in lpk setup meaning language pack setup and then click on uninstall display languages once you do that, you should see available languages to uninstall, get rid of it, restart. If that doesn't fix it as well, this is the final registry fix that should definitely address the problem you're having. So if you check the link below in the description, I've dropped a link from Microsoft, which identifies registry keys with input methods and uh, they're numerical. So you can actually check it out and see which language you want or you don't. Once you've figured it out, open your start menu, type in reg edit, right click and run as administrator. Now go to the following keys one by one. So the first one is H key users, default keyboard layout, preload and so on. So one by one, I'll show you on the screen how to get rid of it. So once you've gone through all the registry keys that I've listed in the description and deleted the unwanted languages, you need to restart your system and check if your keyboard works. Now in 99% of the cases, it should just work. So if after following all these processes and you're still having problems with your language picker or keyboard, then the only option unfortunately is to reset your windows. Now I have a guide which I linked up there, you can check it out and that will help you get back on track. I also now have a Discord link in the description of this channel where you can join in and have a chat with a community of tech nerds. They'll help you out if you can't figure it out yourself. So thanks very much for watching. Drop a like on this video if it helped you. Share with your friends. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you have a question regarding this video or any other videos on my channel, join Discord, leave a comment and I'll see if I can help out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.